Hey everyone, my name is Angie Lee and today is another Tech Tuesday. I'm going to walk you through how I've been able to apply logic gates, which are uh, gates like AND gates, OR gates, NOR gates, XNOR gates, and then applying that logic to everyday life when designing faceted navigation designs or search engine result page um, results. So just to give you an overview of what uh, what the table will look like. You'll have to understand that when you're looking into machine learning, all of the programming languages will be compiled into what the computer and the machine can understand, which is just going to be a series and series and series of bits, which are one and zero. Other no, other ways called true or false or um, on and off if you're thinking of a physical circuit board. So this is how it, it looks like when you're talking about a logic gate. So we're going to look at two of the most common tables that you'll see, and they're the simplest ones. So look at the AND one, and then we're going to also talk about the OR. So we're going to think of it in these two different qualities. If you have an AND gate, that's going to require that um, whatever quality, if it's true, then the first item that's true, the second item is true, then your result is also going to be true. And it requires that both of those items are true or have the same state to have results. So it looks like this. You can have, uh, let's do A and B with the result being X. So if A is zero, just follow along with me and then I'm gonna walk through a real world example. If A is zero, B is zero, the results will be zero. If A is one and B is zero, the results will also be zero because in this case it requires that it has both of those qualities. Okay? And then the same as the, op of the opposite is true and the only case where you get a positive result or a true case is if the A and B quality are met. All right, now let's look at the, how that applies to a real world scenario and how you can use logic gates when building um, a search engine results page. So in faceted navigation you have these filters, it's just a bunch of filters and then you apply something and say like you're shopping for shoes, you say I only want to find shoes that are blue and size 6. So the first filter is it's going to take away all of those that don't meet that criteria um, that are blue. So you will only find the results that are left blue shoes. And then the second filter is for size six. So I'll take all the blue size six shoes and then um, get rid of the rest and not show you those other uh, results. So that is the AND case. We're going to say A is um, blue, that quality, and B is size six, okay? So if you say, are the shoes blue? No. Are they size 6? No. Then we're not going to show any results there. Are the are there shoes that are blue? Yes. Are those blue shoes also size 6? No. So we're not going to show those items. Are they blue? No. But they are size 6 and we're not going to show those results. And then finally, the only case where you get results are when they're both blue and size 6. And that is the case of an AND logic. Now you're thinking, of course, that's how I shop, that's how I look for clothing, that's how I look on Amazon, that's how I look on many of the mainstream sites, but there's definitely going to be situations where you want to OR scenarios, okay? So I was going to walk through both the AND gate and the OR gate, but I realized like I think it's important to have a deeper dive into why the AND gate is important to see how it applies into the real world. So what I'm going to do is... So, we know that blue size 6, I think another one that's really important for an AND is if you're looking for a handyman. Um, and then this is also the case if you are looking on Yelp. So, let's look at the handyman example. Hmm. I can put it here. So, with a handyman example, you want someone that can do plumbing and electricity. 
So when you're searching on some forum, or wait, not a forum, you're looking at a service list of providers in your area, then you want someone to who, you're likely to want someone who can do both of these activities. Someone who can do the plumbing and someone who can do the electricity. You're not going to want to put in those two qualities and filters and apply them to find someone who can only do one or the other. So in that case, that is why when you have the A quality is met, that person is a, is a plumber, but the B quality is met that they're not an electrician, we still show zero results. Now, in scenarios where zero results continue to be surfacing, it's often the case that people who are searching these things either can visually see that they need to unmark and make their search broader, or they're less informed and for some reason it's not clear or maybe they're not as technical or they haven't been able to really work with the interface to understand how the results are being impacted then they're likely to go to another website with different results and potentially a different logic and that supports them when they reach these failures because you can see three out of four sets of information that are applied will return zero results. So being able to support the people who meet no results uh, because of this logic issue that they've applied and may not understand, then they're just going to go to another site. All right, so um, another and example is the Yelp one that I mentioned. So you can look for a restaurant that, let's see, where can I put it? I can put it here. Okay, we're going to look for a Italian restaurant that's open now because once I put in Italian they can show me all of the great Italian five-star walking distance however it's being coded um, and prioritizing that list maybe it starts with sponsored and then shows the rest of the results they're gonna show me by my location a geocentric and we're going to look at um, Italian restaurants near me Okay, so is it an Italian restaurant near me? Yes, it's not open now, so I'm not going to show any results. However, if it has both of those qualities, it's Italian restaurant and open now, I'm going to give them those results. So this is an example of how these and logic gates can apply. There are different scenarios when we're going to want to look at or gates and other tech, other logic gates, but I think it's important to start with one of the most um, simpler ones one that you can see a lot and there's many different applications so um, i hope that this is helpful if you are working in digital electronics this has always been fun for me when you're looking at a circuit um, and just take a moment to look at your power lines like not power lines but a power strip i'm looking at my lamp right now and you'll always see with the on and off switch that the one that goes on is a straight line showing that it has a connected circuit um, otherwise having allowing voltage to pass so with circ with a power strip it can either let circuit it can either let voltage pass or it doesn't pass so that's true or false all this machine language it's really cool how all of this interconnects and i've been really excited to be able to apply my background and knowledge in data electronics to designing uh filtered filters and faceted navigation in my current role so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box below and I will talk to you next week. Bye.